What's up, everyone? I wasn't really sure what would be the best way to make this announcement, but I wanted to make sure I could provide everyone with as much detail and transparency as possible. And the reason why is because this change is going to have an effect on the channel, which I'll cover later on in the video. So to start, let's address the title and the main elephant in the room. What's happening with my regiment, the Gremlins? After 12 wars, I've decided to retire the regiment for the foreseeable future. When we had our start during War 102, it was a blast connecting with everyone in-game and building a community for new and experienced players alike. We focused on having fun and seeing what kind of shenanigans we could cook up each war. It was a huge success, and I gotta say, I'm so proud to have met everyone both Gremlin and Ally alike and sharing some funny and epic moments together. Now, I'm sure people want to know why now, why retire the regiment, and Gremblo, are you quitting YouTube? There are more than a few reasons for this decision to happen now as opposed to later or earlier, but I'll share some of those reasons now, starting with the biggest one, my personal free time. So for those of you guys that don't know, I started a new job near the end of War 113, and the level of free time I used to have is not really the same anymore. With work taking up most of my morning and afternoon and much of the free time, spent with my wife or editing, I'm not really able to commit myself to playing Foxhole outside of the times I stream. Additionally, uh, there was also an expectation of traveling kind of on a monthly basis, which now I'm realizing is more guaranteed. I'm seeing that my travels are probably gonna look like maybe two or three days every single month. Uh, just for traveling from work alone. And as the leader for the Gremlins, if I'm not free to be online and hang out with the regiment members, it starts to feel like the regiment itself is dead or lacks any form of leadership. And I don't think that's fair for players that want that sense of camaraderie and organization with the regiment. And I don't want the Gremlins dedicating hours of grinding for resources for only one or two days when the group as a whole is active and online. Additionally, this year has also been packed full of travel outside of work, which has caused me to be MIA for a week or more at times. I've got four more trips scheduled towards the end of the year, which makes playing Foxhole while I'm on the road more difficult. This leads into the next major reason, and that's Foxhole itself. I'm gonna say some things that I've been trying to keep to myself in the hopes that future changes will improve the situation, but guys, I'm getting extremely burnt out and tired with the grind in Foxhole. Before I even created the Gremlins, a group of three other friends and I used to farm, build a tank, and spend a few hours on the front line, either in that tank or fighting as infantry, just in one gaming session alone. The grind in the game now compared to back then when I was playing in the late 80s, early 90s is extremely demanding. Maybe it's just me being burnt out speaking, and I have been playing Foxhole and uploading videos for almost two years straight, but with my free time already reduced, the increased grind just puts me off from wanting to boot up and play Foxhole when there are plenty of other games out there with either less or a more enjoyable grind. I'm not going to go into further specifics for this video, but maybe in the future I can go over the grind in more detail so people can see what I'm talking about. Those are some of the reasons why this announcement was made now as opposed to earlier or later, but I'm sure some of you are wondering why retire the regiment? Why not just leave it open or pass it on to an officer or even a group of gremlins who can carry the torch while I'm gone? I choose retire instead of disband because there's always a possibility that I'll have less travel in the future or just more free time to dedicate myself to running a regiment once again. Even though the regiment is being shut down in game, that doesn't mean the gremlins are gone for good. I'm sure you'll still see me on the battlefield stabbing unsuspecting players with my bayonet, but let's get to the point of why not pass the torch. Truthfully, I did have that thought and I was really hoping to go that route, but I think it makes more sense now, based on what I've seen, to stick with retiring. The big reason is the connection I have with the Gremlins and the image the regiment paints on me based on player interactions in Foxhole. If I'm not available to resolve disputes or promote a positive culture in the regiment, other players will think I'm either culpable or promoting that bad behavior. We had one such example where a couple of members decided to go rogue and be poor stewards when farming for rare alloys dumping scrap on the ground instead of putting it in a nearby storage box or facility. After being warned about it in-game by other players, I was later asked to say something by a different regiment leader since they were being ignored. Even after I brought it to their attention, these regiment members joked and continued to dump scrap on the ground. What makes it worse is that one of those players was an officer in the regiment and was supposed to be a leader when I'm away, which I was at the time enjoying my honeymoon. This was pretty much the final nail in the coffin for me to go to the path of retiring instead of passing on leadership. Thankfully, this was just one example, and everyone else in the regiment, both officer and member alike, have been positive players in game and within the Foxhole community. I could go in more details about the rationale, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer if possible. So what does this mean for the channel? I'm still going to be uploading as usual every Friday and every Sunday. Sundays have been recently difficult with all the travel, but I'm trying to edit further in advance to accommodate my trips. Regarding content though, that's where things might shake up a bit. Like I've said, I made Foxhole content almost exclusively for the past two years, with sprinkles of other games here and there. I've played games like Battlebit and actually got praise from the developers, 
Rust and Dark and Darker to name a few, but I find myself wishing I played these games more than Foxhole, especially Rust and Dark and Darker. You may not know this, but when I first created this channel, it was with the goal of playing games with VoIP because I love the social aspect and capture the chaotic, random, and funny moments between players. And I think I've lost sight of that after sticking with Foxhole for so long. And I know why I did it, because it was easier to keep uploading that specific game after becoming more established. That's not why I want to play Foxhole or upload videos. I play games that make me laugh and sharing those moments with you, and Foxhole isn't the only game that does that for me. So with that, yes, I'm going to be shifting what kind of videos will be on the channel, and I hope you all will join and support me on this next phase. I'm always thinking about new projects to work on, and I think now is the perfect time to embark on that journey. I have an idea for a new series of Foxhole videos I plan to upload, but they won't be the majority of videos on the channel. I'm going to be shifting to either Rust or Dark and Darker for the foreseeable future, and I want this community to have a say as I consider which game to stick with. I've gone ahead and created a poll on my Discord and provided the link in the description below. Make sure you cast your vote between Rust or Dark and Darker. Whichever has the most votes will be weighed heavily when I make my decision. This also ties in nicely with the community gaming sessions I've been hosting on the Discord server. For those that don't know, I created a channel on the Gremlo Discord specifically for members to pick which games we want to play as a group. Every month we vote and dedicate either a day or a week to play a new game instead of Foxhole. With this shift in the channel, I think this would be a good opportunity to include more of these community gaming sessions so that we can group together in the Dungeons of Dark and Darker or a Zergen Festo server in Rust. And I think with that, I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank everyone that stuck with me from the beginning and all the new joiners to the channel. I love interacting with you guys on stream, in the comments or on Discord and hope to keep growing those connections. And to all the gremlins, old and new, some of the best memories I have playing Foxhole was with you. Thank you guys for being part of the Gremlo Cinematic Universe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Suck some dick. Full up. Look at things different, see the bigger dick.